Hi kids, welcome to the art garden. Um, I have a little cat friend with me today, so he may be going back and forth. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about another one of my favorite artists, Georgia O'Keefe, who's a female artist, and we're going to be drawing some pictures in her style. Um, Georgia O'Keefe was born a long time ago in 1887, more than 100 years ago, and when she was a little girl, she loved to go outside and observe nature. She'd just sit and she'd look, and she spent much of her childhood outside, in nature. And when she was a little older, 10, she started taking art lessons, and by the time she was 13, she decided she wanted to be an artist, and that's exactly what she did. She went to college and for art, which was very unusual for a female at that time. So she's really one of the first famous, and when I say famous, it means she's in a lot of books, she's in a lot of museums, women of women of her time. So I want to show you some of her artwork. So like I said, she was inspired by nature. She did a lot of paintings of flowers. And these paintings, um, they're not as big as Matisse. I'll show you in a minute about how big some of these are. A couple things to notice is that she did a magnified view. You know, the flower takes up the whole page. Also, she painted often with a bird's eye view. What do you think that means? So you think about that for a second. Well, if you're a bird and you were flying and looking down, this is the view you'd often have, which is really different than how we often think about flowers. And so when you're doing your artwork today, I want you to think about that using a bird's eye view. Well, she didn't just paint flowers. She also did other objects from nature. So here's a shell. Um, oops. Shells. And she painted, here's another shell, bones and rocks and stones. Some of you may be able to go outside, depending where you live, and collect some interesting art, you know, objects from nature. Oh, there's one more I wanted to show you. Where did that one go? Here it is. This one's a rock. Two rocks, actually. And some bones. And last one is, these are kind of different, but they're so beautiful. I thought I'd show them to you. Clouds. From, I don't know, are you looking up? Are you looking down? Where are you in this picture? You guys can figure that one out. Okay, here comes our little visitor. So, um, oh, here's one more. There you go. So, as you can see, nature, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper and you're going to pick an object. You can use flowers. These are, you can use shells. Rocks. You can use a leaf. Um, I like you to use something from from nature and something small because what you're going to do is to take your object and then you're going to magnify it and you're going to draw it. So I'm going to use my pink flowers. Actually, I'm going to use my yeah. I'm going to use my pink flower. So here it is, and we're going to use oil pastels which look like this, okay? And so first I'm gonna look at my flower and I'm gonna look at the middle. What colors do I see there? Well, I, I see yellow, so I'm gonna start with the yellow. So here's my yellow oil pastel and I'm gonna go quick so mine's not gonna be beautiful like yours, but I'm gonna make a little outline of this flower um, and look at all the different petals and I'm, again, I'm not going to go real detailed, but what I'm doing is I'm picking the lightest color I see here, and I'm going to make an outline. And it looks something like, like this. Actually, I'll make it a little bit bigger even. And then I'm going to look, I'm going to take um, some tissue paper, and I'm going to do something kind of fun. I'm going to smear my middle just to get it a little bit more detailed. And look at my flower again. And then I'm seeing a lot of white. So I'm actually gonna use some white. Where's the white? White's a fun color. I'm gonna put a bunch of white, which you're not gonna be able to see, so I'm not gonna show you. And then I'm gonna go for some pink. And there are, if you look at this, there are tons of shades of pink. There's light, there's dark. So 
I'm going to put some pink in and show you a fun little trick. Let me do it like this. So what I'm doing is I'm going, pressing dark, and then I'm going to go in here and use this to smear it. You can get some interesting effects by smearing and coloring and you know I would just keep going like that basically you know over here and I'll keep working on this one I'll post it on the on the website so and then what I might do is I may or may not pick a background color to color in that will be up to you. Georgie O'Keefe, I think, usually did use a background color. So if I have pink, I may, i probably use blue. I think that would be really pretty and put in some, some blue. You can see I, some blue. And I'll probably smear that. So have fun with the pastels. Have fun choosing objects from nature and really look at the objects. See what colors, you know, here's another flower. Really look, what colors do you see? It's not just orange. There's some red in there, there's some white in there. There's actually some dark, um, like a brown almost in there. And then if you're looking at a shell, a shell is really interesting. If you look at these shells, there's definitely more colors than white. I can show you a picture. This is one, one of my kids did when they were little, but they did it with watercolor. This is the oil pastel. You do not need to use watercolor on this project. So that's the project. Pick something from nature, draw it with oil pastels, and if you get a chance, put it on Facebook and take a look at some of the other art. Thank you guys, have a, a fun week.